It's a very good, <coughs> very important question. And the quick answer first is that uh, businesses do not have obligations, obligations because they are not part of the state, they are outside the state, they are not supposed to ratify these uh, conventions. Uh, but as, uh, as a substitute then, or lack, lacking the, the possibility of, of, of giving them obligations, then the United Nations have developed a set of uh, guiding principles for business and human rights. And they are directed to business in the sense that uh, uh, businesses who want to contribute to human rights, they must respect human rights. They must not do things that can interfere with people's rights. And that means that they have to look at what they're doing and look at if there are some negative impacts um, on food security, for example, <coughs> on, or, or on the product uh, they are producing. Um, the, the other part of it is that the, the principles uh, are also directed to states, which really now here, uh, there's an example here of uh, um, uh, states' um, obligation to protect their people from such negative impact that, that it may, may be concerned. Uh, so it's a, it's a two-layer two uh, set of principles uh, for business and for states. And uh, more and more, th there are businesses that are really taking this seriously now and uh, trying to look at uh, their impact on various rights. and. Uh, we are, of course, particularly interested in the food industry here, but also other and other and industries that can do things that actually affect people's food security and food environment.